Which of the following vectors is or are in the kernel of matrix A? Well, first, notice matrix A is a two by three matrix, meaning two rows and three columns, and therefore the associated transformation of this matrix will be a transformation from R3 to R2, again, because matrix A has two rows and three columns. Sometimes we're asked to determine the kernel of a transformation, and sometimes we're asked to determine the kernel of a matrix. The kernel of matrix A is the same as a null space of matrix A, and therefore the kernel of matrix A is a set of all vectors x in Rn, such that matrix A times vector x equals the zero vector. Notice the vectors must live in Rn, which in our case should be R3, so looking at our choices, we can quickly eliminate the zero vector in the vector five, negative six, because these two vectors live in R2, and the vectors x must live in R3. So now we'll multiply matrix A by the remaining two vectors and see if the result is the zero vector. If the result is the zero vector, then the vector is in the kernel of matrix A. If the result is not the zero vector, the vector is not in the kernel of matrix A. Let's first multiply matrix A and the vector two, negative seven, four. And then we'll multiply matrix A and the vector three, zero, negative one. And we know when multiplying a two by three matrix and a three by one matrix, the result is going to be a two by one matrix. And again, this should make sense because as a transformation, we will be mapping from R3 to R2. But let's go ahead and leave some room for some calculations here. For the first entry, we have one times two, which is two, plus two times negative seven, which is negative 14, plus three times four, which is 12. And then for the second entry, we have two times two, which is four, plus zero times negative seven, which is zero, plus negative one times four, which is negative four. Simplifying, notice how we do get the zero vector, which indicates the vector two, negative seven, four is in the kernel of matrix A, and it would also be in the null space of matrix A. And now for the second product, the first entry is one times three, which is three, plus two times zero, which is zero, plus three times negative one, which is negative three. And then for the second entry, we have two times three, which is six, plus zero times zero, which is zero, plus negative one times negative one, which is positive one. Notice here, we do not get the zero vector. The first component is zero, but the second component is seven. So because the product does not result in the zero vector, the vector three, zero, negative one is not in the kernel of matrix A, and it's also not in the null space of matrix A. I hope you found this helpful.